Hey everyone, what is going on? So we are taking a look at Pokey Ash 221's team. Now this is going to be in the Ultra League. So let's go ahead and take a look at the team. They have Excadrill with Shadow Mewtwo and Giratina Origin form. So Shadow Mewtwo, certainly a powerful Pokemon. It takes a lot of damage because it's really squishy, but it dishes out so much damage. And as we can see, they are running Thunderbolt as the second move. So let's go ahead and dive right into the commentary. Going to switch on the charge attack, able to catch the Stone Edge, I think. Yep, gonna be Stone Edge. Giratina able to catch that, very nice. So gonna go ahead and charge up to an Ominous Win. Gonna go straight forward, maybe hoping for a boost. And no boost, okay, that is okay. So Regirock is gonna go ahead and go for an attack. So Giratina will shield this one up. We might see a farm down. No, the Regirock switches into Dragonite. Dragonite is lagging, that's really unfortunate. That will allow this Giratina to get off this Shadow Ball. So will we see a shield? We do see a shield from the Dragonite. Dragonite wants to fund down, able to do so. So in comes Excadrill. Excadrill gonna go ahead and shield up this Dragon Claw. I assume it's a Dragon Claw. Yeah, it is a Dragon Claw. And try to get to a Rock Slide. Another Dragon Claw coming in. Excadrill gonna be able to take it though. And gonna be able to get to a Rock Slide. We do see an Over Farm. So very nice. Able to get off this Rock Slide. So this will be enough to KO the Shadow Dragonite as it does. And let's see. Going to switch into Mewtwo. Trying to get to the Psy Strike, able to get to it, that is huge. So uh, Regirock doesn't get to an attack against Shadow Mewtwo, this will be enough to KO. And now in comes Articuno, has to get to this Thunderbolt desperately, able to get to it, but will this be enough to one-shot the Articuno? It's going to be very close, guys. It is not, but it does so much damage. Look how much damage that did. Holy cow. So Icy Wind, not enough to KO, but Mewtwo will go down from an Ice Shot, and in comes Excadrill, able to get to a Rock Slide. And this is going to be enough to take out the knock or take the knockout and win that game. So very well done. Uh, great gameplay as well. Great feature of Shadow Mewtwo. Um, as I said, it is running Thunderbolt. Usually we see it with Shadow Ball. Uh, sometimes we see it with, I've seen it with Flamethrower before. Uh, Focus Blast is another common one. I've seen the Ice Beam once or twice, but we're taking a look at Thunderbolt today. So it, it obviously worked out against Articuno. So Excadrill into Gyarados. Okay. So going to be able to get to this rock slide. This is going to be super effective damage. And we do see a shield. Excadrill is so powerful. So this is going to be an Aqua Tail. It is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Not wanting to take that attack. Trying to get to another. Able to get to it. Very nice. So this is coming out. This rock slide. And we do see the double shield. So will the Excadrill decide to shield? It does. Wanting to get off a rock slide. But will the rock slide be enough to one shot at that health? I feel like it's not. But uh, we'll see. It's going to be close. I mean, it's going to do a lot of damage. It is not enough, but it's actually really close. Going to switch, trying to get the fun down. Able to get the fun down with Giratina. In comes in altered form Giratina. So Giratina going to be hit with the Shadow Ball. Doing massive super effective damage. Holy cow. Now Giratina altered can survive that because of how bulky it is. Able to get off a Dragon Claw, but that's fine. I don't think we'll see a farm down. No, they do get to another Dragon Claw. This is going to be enough to KO the Origin form Giratina. And that is okay. Going to bring in Excadrill to go for the farm down. In comes Lucario. Lucario is going to be blown away by this drill run. There's no way it survives that. Goodbye. And Mewtwo comes in. And we saw Mewtwo just at the end able to farm down with Psycho Cut. So very nice. Uh, so didn't even need Mewtwo there, but able to farm down nonetheless and take that win. So that is awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and move into the next game and we'll see how the next battle plays out. Excadrill into Talonflame. Okay, Talonflame dishing out super effective damage and a lot at that, but these rock slides coming out super fast will be enough. Should be, well, this is the Ultra League. Talonflame is bulkier, but Excadrill is so powerful. It should be enough to just one shot Talonflame, but we'll likely either see a switch or the double shield. And okay, they're not switching yet. This rock slide coming out into the Talon Flame. Yep, they do shield. And no, they're just gonna go for the farm down. So okay. So in comes Giratina. Giratina gonna be hit with an attack. Flame Charge is resisted. Brave Bird will do a lot. Unfortunately, it is a shield bait. Nice play by the opponent. They do switch into Togekiss. Out comes Mewtwo. Mewtwo is taking so much damage. Oh my gosh, it's literally at 2 HP just from a few charm attacks. That is crazy, but Thunderbolt able to knock it out, and in comes Talonflame. Uh, Talonflame has an attack. Yeah, they have an attack. Brave Bird will not K- Well, I don't think it will. 
No, it does not. Okay. Uh, so able to charge up extra energy and go for the Shadow Ball. This game is not over yet. This Shadow Ball, we'll have to see what's in the back. Because Shadow Ball will knock out Talonflame. And in comes Melmetal. Uh, the Melmetal is going to get this one. Yeah, one Shadow Ball is not going to be enough to KO. So they need to get to another one. Even an Ominous Wind wouldn't KO. So Melmetal will get to an attack. And that will be enough to KO the Giratina. But that was a very close game. Very well played. Unfortunately, was not able to win that one. But it's okay. It happens. Let's go ahead and move into the next game by Pokey Ash. So it's going to be Excadrill into Surfetch. Bad matchup. They have to get out. So going to switch into Giratina. And okay. this I mean, Night Slash is going to be super effective. Probably going to do a decent chunk to Giratina. Uh, as it does, it actually does a lot. Surfetch still staying in. Going for the Ominous win. Yep. So going for that Ominous Wind Bait. So this Ominous Wind is going to get the shield. And then we're seeing another attack. Givatina will shield this one up. Again, going to be Night Slash. Going to get the Givatina very low. So we're going to see a Shadow Ball right now. Uh, I think the Surfetch probably shields. But let's find out. They do shield. And we're going to see another Night Slash. Just going to let the Givatina go. I wonder if you can farm down with Mewtwo. Is that too much to ask? Uh, they got a boost. Look how much Count is doing. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Mewtwo can farm down, but it will have to shield. Look how much Count is doing because of the boost. Mewtwo is resisting it. Oh, the switch into Melmetal, unfortunately, does not have Focus Blast. But Thunderbolt will still do a lot to a Melmetal. And needs to get to another one. No, going to be able to catch it on Excadrill. Beautiful catch. So that's going to be a Rock Slide. Excadrill going to be able to resist that. Trying to get to a Drew Run, able to get to it. This will be enough to KO that Melmetal. So Melmetal is going to go down, and in comes Surfetch, able to farm it down. What is in the back? Going to be Swampet, able to get to a Druva, and this is a Shadow Swampet. This is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. Does it KO? No. Oh no, not even close. But it does do a lot of damage. We're going to see a Hydro Cannon, which definitely KOs the Excadrill. So goodbye Excadrill. Can the Mewtwo get to it? Yes, it can. It's already, was almost already there. Able to go for a Psy Strike, and this will KO the Shadow Swamp it, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Holy cow, these are some awesome games, man, featuring a beautiful Shadow Mewtwo. I love it. I love it. I have Mewtwo invested in for the Mass League. Didn't do anything with my Shadow ones yet, though. But Excadrill into Cresselia. Okay. Okay, let's see how much uh, these Drill Runs do. So, obviously, going to be neutral. Cresselia pretty tanky, right? Uh, actually, really tanky. And Grass not going to be hitting for neutral damage as well. So, oh, going for the Moon Blast. Maybe they have Future Sight? Okay. So, Excadrill is charging up extra energy. Going for another Drill Run. Very nice. So, this Drill Run is going to get it pretty low. And, okay, if this is... Yeah, I mean, even if this was a Grass Knot, they probably don't have Grass Knot. I feel like he would have went for it if he had Grass Knot. So, going to go ahead and charge up extra energy. Going for the Drill Run. Excadrill going to be able to take this matchup. Uh, and Cresselia not going to shield. That's awesome. In comes Umbreon. So it looks like a, an incredibly tanky team by the opponent. The back line does not want to see Umbreon, though. That is unfortunate. So try to get it as low as possible. I feel like you have to shield. Yeah, Excadrill is going to go ahead and shield this one up. Again, the back line does not want to introduce itself to Umbreon at all. So we're going to see a drill run connect. As long as you get it low enough, trying to get to one more. No, the farm down. Okay. So it did get pretty low. Going to bring in Giratina. Oh, okay. So the Umbreon is going to go ahead and go for likely a foul play or dark pulse, whichever one they have. They have dark pulse doing a lot of damage. Going for the Ominous Wind. The Umbreon may shield this, recognizing that there's something weak in the back to Umbreon. They do not shield it. That does nothing to Umbreon, and it still gets off the Dark Pulse. At this point, you could let the, uh, yeah, Giratina go and farm down with Mewtwo, even though the Psycho Cuts are resisted. That's actually, oh man, I was going to say that's good that they're re double resisted so you can get more farm, but that allowed Umbreon to get to a move. So what is going to come in? Two shields. Oh man. The opponent has two shields, so they're going to have to double shield. And can this Mewtwo get to a Thunderbolt? No, there's no way. Uh, the opponent, there's no way. There's no way, Mewtwo. Come on, Mewtwo. There's no way. There's no way. The opponent shields this, and they cannot get to another move because Mewtwo takes so much damage. So if it's going up against a Pokemon that has fast move pressure, it would be incredibly difficult for that Mewtwo to uh, win that one, especially if the opponent had shields. If the opponent ha didn't have shields, Mewtwo would have won. Excadrill into Gramble, okay. So Excadrill is resisting Charm, but it doesn't look like it. <laughs> so in comes Lapras, okay. I don't mind this. 
I would love the rock slides to connect. Uh, so I'm going to go for one. Just wants another one to connect. I mean, the Lapras likely shields this. Uh, you probably just stay... Um, we'll see. Looks like he is staying in X Patrol likely. Yep, go to shield. Makes sense. So we do see a shield that would have KO'd. So we're going to go ahead and go for the rock slide, which should KO the Lapras, unless if it decides to shield. And it does not, it does not KO. Trying to farm down, able to farm down, beautiful farm. And we're seeing a Grambo. Grambo will be hit with a rock slide. So just get it as low as possible because Giratina doesn't have any play against it. Oh man, the game crashed. That is super unfortunate. That is super unfortunate, especially since that back line did not want to see Grambo. And Grambo might be going to town against it. Oh man, I'm sorry that happened to you. It's happened to me a few times. In fact, that cost me legend one season. I think season three or four, that cost me legend. So that was really irritating. I'm not going to lie. So I feel for you. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, I don't think Mewtwo is going to get the farm down because uh, it's just doing so much damage. The charm. But yeah, so that's unfortunate. I feel like Poke Ash would have had that one if it wasn't for that lag, but it happened. So sorry about that. Excadrill into Dragonite. Okay, so Pretty good matchup. They do switch into Machamp. Out comes Giratina. So this is a good one for the Giratina. Giratina going to be hit with an attack. Likely going to be Rock Slide. So we do see a shield. It is that Rock Slide. Technically Machamp could have payback. I have battled a few of them in the Open Ultra League. But we're going to go ahead and see that it has Rock Slide. Ominous Wind coming out. Trying to farm down. Giratina can take this. Watch it has payback and Rock Slide. No, it doesn't. Okay. Most do do not. Uh, so Giratina does farm down. In comes Dragonite. Dragonite going to be hit with a Shadow Ball. Going to be doing a lot. Giratina did its job, right? It went to work. It did the job it had to do. And uh, we're going to see another Shadow Ball come out from Giratina. And this is going to connect, doing a lot of damage to Dragonite. Dragonite will get off a Dragon Claw. Will be enough to KO the Giratina. And that is okay. And now Excadrill does farm down. In comes Empoleon. So Empoleon doing a lot with Waterfall. But these drill runs will do an enormous amount of damage to Empoleon, if not KO it. Uh, we do see the shield, but again, Excadrill has two of them. So we're going to go for another one. Ever since Excadrill got Mudshot, it's amazing. It does not KO. Mewtwo can finish it off with Psycho Cut. So that's what I'm talking about. So we'll take it. We'll take it. Very nice gameplay. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This might be the last battle in the video. I'm not too sure. We just had quite a uh, quite a few battles today. Let's give it up for Poke Ash though. Playing really well. We can see that they're an ace trainer. So congratulations. Very highly ranked. That is awesome to see. So going up against Giratina Altered Form. Excadrill will go for this drill run right now. And this drill run will connect. And it does get to an attack totally fine. Excadrill, I can. I need to build one for the Ultra League. I have a decently ranked one. It's not great. I was trying to see if I could find a better one. That's why I didn't build it yet. It's okay. I think it's a rank like 100 something, 200 something. It's not. It's not terrible. It's okay. It's something. Excuse me. It's something I would use. So um, I might build it. I might build it. We'll see. Um, but anyway, Excadrill is going for another drill run, and this drill run. We'll get the shields. We're getting both shields from that Giratina. Very nice. Gonna go ahead and let this go and probably bring in Origin Form. Oh, that doesn't even KO. Gonna switch right now into Origin Form. Trying to get to an Ominous Win. But the Giratina gets to an attack. Going to allow it to go through. Gonna be Dragon Claw. It makes a lot of sense. And we're gonna see it farm up a quite a bit of extra energy. Going for the Ominous Win right now. That will be enough to KO. No boost. In comes Macha Shadow Machamp, going for the Shadow Ball. This is definitely one-shotting a Shadow Machamp, no doubt about it. So, oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. In the Great League, that Shadow Ball would have KO. I thought that was going to KO, what could I say? But Pokemon are tankier in the Ultra League. Okay, that's okay. Um, so in comes Mewtwo, and going to go ahead and shield this. Uh, so let's see, Psych Strike is going to be resisted. Probably going for the Thunderbolt. Yep, going for the Thunderbolt. And this is an Armored Mewtwo, but is this enough to KO? It is not enough to KO, but that's okay. Should still be a good game. Uh, Armored Mewtwo will go for an attack right now against Shadow Mewtwo. It does not KO. And gonna actually, Mewtwo goes down totally fine. Giratina farms down. And that is a great video. Thank you so much for submitting this content to me. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Bye.